So how is a company that has an effective sales and operations planning process different than one that does not? Well, really three things. One, they're very clear on the goal and they can answer the question of if they do it well, what does good look like? And you know, that may sound easy, but it isn't. So traditionally, people have matched demand with supply, but companies that are at a higher level of sales and operations planning are asking themselves the question of, how do I achieve the greatest value in margin, in new product launch, and balancing efficiency with effectiveness? So first thing, clear on the goal. Second thing, clear on how to make a decision. So, you know, that may also sound, well, isn't everyone clear on how to make a decision? And the answer is no, because we're dealing with a cross-functional set of organizational processes that really are not very well known. So, what is the governance structure? And the best sales and operations planning teams report to a profit center, and they are staffed so that they can have the right data to make a decision. So, secondly, be clear on governance. So we've got the goal and we've got the governance and then we need to be clear on the metrics. And there are usually five metrics that make a difference. One on forecast accuracy, one on customer service, one on cash flow or inventory, one on profitability or margin, and one on revenue. And you know the danger is that many companies just measure too many things and so they get caught in the minutia but if we can actually have those five points aligned against each of the value chains we're clear on the goal we've got a clear governance structure we're set to win